Hello everyone, welcome back. In last lecture, we have discussed about the components of DNA and Watson and Crick model of DNA. Today, we will discuss about the introduction of DNA replication, which is a very important topic. In this lecture, we will discuss about the types of DNA replication that is conservative replication, semi conservative, and dispersive replication. Then, we will discuss uh, about one famous experiment which proved that DNA replication is semi conservative in nature, that is, Misselson and Stahl's experiment. Let's start. DNA replication. It is a process by which DNA duplicates itself. It occurs in the S phase of a cell cycle. जो cell cycle है उसके S phase में ये event होता है और ये है ऐसा process जिसमें DNA खुद को replicate करता है, duplicate करता है. It means it forms Xerox copy. और ये process start होता है with the unwinding of double helix to expose the bases in each strand of DNA. Then each unpaired nucleotide will attract the complementary nucleotide from the medium. So it's just say ki jo complementary nucleotides hain wo attract hote hain towards that unpaired nucleotide of the template strand jo parental strand hai uski taraf. So in this this process begins with this unwinding of DNA jo DNA double helix hai wo unwind hota hai jisse jo bases hain wo expose jate hain aur iske complementary bases yahan pe add hote hain to form the one new strand. और जो ये एक स्ट्रैंड है इट एक्ट एज द टेम्पलेट स्ट्रैंड और पेरेंट स्ट्रैंड नेक्स्ट डीएनए हैज फॉलोइंग टू इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शंस डीएनए के दो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन है वन इज इट्स हिट्रो कैटालिथिक फंक्शन हिट्रो मींस डिफरेंट सो डीएनए के पास ऐसी कैपेबिलिटी होती है ये सिंथेसाइज कर सकता है कुछ एक और मॉलिक्यूल्स अदर देन इट्स सेल्फ सो व्हेन डीएनए डायरेक्ट्स द सिंथेसिस ऑफ केमिकल मॉलिक्यूल्स अदर देन इट्स सेल्फ देन इट्स फंक्शन इज नोन एज हिट्रो कैटालिटिक फंक्शन फॉर एग्जांपल इट हेल्प्स इन सिंथेसिस ऑफ आरएनए एंड प्रोटीन्स सेकंड फंक्शन ऑफ डीएनए इज ऑटो कैटालिटिक फंक्शन इट मींस इट synthesize its own synthesis so dna can synthesize its own synthesis so that function is known as autocatalytic function next comes types of dna replication the first type is conservative replication as the name indicate conserve isme jo parental dna hai wo as it is conserved ho jata hai aur ek brand new daughter dna banta hai so in this type of application whole original double helix act as template for new one and one daughter molecule would consist of original parental dna and other daughter would be the totally new dna so is may a parental uh, dna as it is conserved at the hair to have a brand new daughter dna banta and second type is dispersive replication in this type of replication the parental dna molecule have who disintegrate hota hai and breaks up into its component nucleotides then these nucleotides along with newly synthesized nucleotide synthesizes two double stranded dna molecules so is may uh, parental dna ke pieces or new dna ke pieces combine karke uh, replication karte hain and this type of replication is known as dispersive replication third one is the semi conservative replication in this type of replication two strands of dna separates from each other dono strand dna double helix ke separate hote hain and each strand gets new nucleotides from the pool and synthesizes complementary strand so har ek strand ke jo complementary nucleotides hain wo pool se leta hai aur apna complementary strand banata hai in this type one strand of daughter dna molecule is derived from the parent molecule ek strand jo dna ka hai wo daughter डी एन ए का मॉलिक्यूल का बना होता है पेरेंट से एंड अदर स्ट्रैंड इज फॉर्म न्यू एक उसमें पेरेंटल डी एन ए का स्ट्रैंड होगा और दूसरा स्ट्रैंड बनेगा प्रिको ब्रैंड न्यू सो दिस इज द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेड मॉडल ऑफ डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन दैट इज सेमी कंजर्वेटिव मोड ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन दिस इज द पिक्चर विच शोज सेमी कंजर्वेटिव मॉडल इन दिस टाइप दिस इज द पेरेंटल डी एन ए जब इसकी रेप्लीकेशन होगी तो इसमें एक जो स्ट्रैंड है वो पेरेंट का रहेगा और एक इसमें बिल्कुल ब्रांड न्यू बनेगा So that's why it is known as semi-conservative means ek jo parental strand is conserved and one is formed the new then second one is the conservative model in this type 
जो पेरेंटल स्ट्रैंड है जब दो डॉटर स्ट्रैंड बनाएगा दो डॉटर डीएनए बनाएगा तो उसमें जो एक डीएनए है वो पूरा का पूरा पेरेंट वाला कंजर्व रहेगा और एक बिल्कुल ब्रांड न्यू बनेगा एंड थर्ड डिस्पर्सिव मॉडल इसमें जो पेरेंटल डीएनए दैट इज ब्रोकन डाउन इनटू स्मॉल फ्रेगमेंट्स इसमें छोटे छोटे पीसेज में ब्रेक डाउन हो जाता है और उन्हीं पीसेज के बीच में नए पीसेज भी बनते हैं कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री पीसेज सो इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्मॉल फ्रेगमेंट्स ऑफ पेरेंटल डी एंड न्यू फॉर्म डी so this type of replication is known as dispersive model of replication and the most accepted one is the semi conservative model of dna replication to so, sabse jo uh, effective or accepted model hai dna replication ka that is semi conservative mode of replication isme jo a parental strand hai ek parental strand conserve rehta hai aur dusra brand new banta hai daughter strand so this type of replication Next comes Misson and Stahl's experiment. This was the first experiment that showed that the DNA replication is semi-conservative in nature. So for this, they have conducted this experiment on E. coli. They grow this Escherichia coli cells in a medium having heavy isotope of nitrogen, that is N15, and it was provided through ammonium chloride solution as a source of nitrogen for many generations, so that almost all the nitrogen, that is the normal isotope N14, was replaced with this N15 and after centrifugation they found its band was formed at the base because it was heavy isotope. This heavy DNA is differentiated with normal DNA by centrifugation in cesium chloride density gradient. So when it was centrifugation, ki gai, they found that its band was formed at the base which contained heavy isotope of nitrogen that is N15 and after that they, uh, they took some cells and were allowed to grow in the medium containing normal nitrogen isotope and it was determined that the cell took about 30 minutes to complete one generation after each cell generation so is mein se kuch cells you know here transfer kar diye, the solution which containing normal nitrogen uh, isotope and they found that the one generation was completed after, uh, in within the approximately within the 30 minutes and the samples were taken and their DNA was examined for heavy isotopes of nitrogen through density gradient centrifugation uh, with cesium chloride and they found that the first generation was hybrid the first generation thi, that was hybrid and had uniform homogeneous density between N15 DNA and N14 DNA so जो ये ओरिजिनल डीएनए था जिसमें हैवी आइसोटोप मींस एन फिफ्टीन था जब इसको अलाउ किया टू ग्रो इन द सॉल्यूशन कंटेनिंग एन फोर्टीन आइसोटोप सो दे फाउंड दैट इसमें जो डीएनए था दैट वाज हाइब्रिड जिसमें एक स्ट्रैंड था एन फिफ्टीन का और दूसरा स्ट्रैंड था एन फोर्टीन का सो द सेकेंड जनरेशन शो टू डेंसिटी बैंड्स दो डेंसिटी बैंड्स थे उसमें सेकेंड जनरेशन में इंडिकेटिंग uh, दैट 50% DNA turned normal जो uh, second generation है उसमें जो 50% DNA है वो normal था that is light isotope of nitrogen uh, that 50% turned normal containing only N14 and 50% DNA turned intermediate जो 50% DNA था वो intermediate था it means इसमें 25% uh, जो DNA था that was with heavy isotope of nitrogen that is N15 and 25% with the light isotope or normal isotope that is N14 or hybrid. So the results of Misselson and Stahl's experiment clearly indicate that replication of DNA occurs by a semi-conservative method. So in this way they prove that जो DNA की replication होती है वो semi-conservative होती है it means इसमें जो एक strand है वो parental रहता है और एक strand नया बनता है that is the daughter strand और इसमें uh, jo replication ka mode hai that is semi conservative mode of replication so this was the first experimental proof that shows that that showed that the dna replication is semi conservative in nature similar results was observed by j h taylor in the root tip of uh, vc of haba with the help of radioactive treated uh, thymidine jo semi conservative mode of replication hai ye proof kiya tha j h taylor and p woods ne in 1957 in the broad vein root tip so this experiment also proved that DNA replication is semi-conservative in eukaryotes by using the technique of auto autoradiography and light microscopic in dividing cells of root tip of VCF haba that is broad vein in this type uh, in this experiment they have replaced the normal thymidine with 
the radio labeled isotope of hydrogen that is tritium is replaced kar diya tha and they found that the dna replication occurs in the semi conservative mode isme jo ek strand hota hai wo parental hota hai aur dusra strand is uh, of the daughter strand that is a new formed strand so this was all about for our today's discussion about dna replication which is the introductory part and we have discussed uh, the experimental proof that shows that dna replication is semi conservative in nature in next lecture we will discuss about the mechanism of dna replication uh, if you have any questions any queries and any suggestions regarding this topic you can give it in comment section thanks for watching have a great day